everybody, I'm Janet Robin, and today we're going to learn a little bit about capos, uh, what they do, what they're used for, um, how we can use them in different kinds of ways, and the different kinds of capos there are, because there's not only one kind of capo, there's also not only one brand. I happen to use this uh, brand, it's Kaiser, and um, they've been around for years. And basically, let me just show you first off how to hold the capo, okay? Um, you kind of actually have, you know, this little groove here for your fingers. And you want to hold them really tight and squeeze it open. Now, I sometimes use my right hand and I turn it over this way, okay? Because my right hand is stronger. And then you just place it down. Now, what are you going to use it for? Well, there's a lot of things you can use it for. The main reason people use it is to change keys. So, you know, if you're if you're playing a progression, a song, and it's it's too low and you want to raise the key, boom, you just, you know, start on the first fret and you can make your way up. The other reason to use it is to take place of a bar chord, um, which I know a lot of us acoustic guitar players don't like playing bar chords on, on uh, the acoustic guitar, it's so hard to press, you can let the capo do the work for you. And the other reason to use it is sometimes I use it just as a color sound, you know, maybe on a recording. Um, you can place it really high. Actually, I'll put all the way up here on nine. Kind of sounds like a mandolin or, you know, a really high guitar. Right? So it's it's super cool. I think there's a lot of facets to using the capo. So again, let me just show you the example. If you're playing this progression, like a G. And it's too low and you want to raise the key, take the capo. And let me show you how to put it on properly. Open it up nice and strong and you're just gonna put it on right here like this. Drop it, okay? Now, I put it pretty even. You don't ever want it to be like that. You don't want it to be pushing down a string. You don't want it halfway on. There are actual capos for that. So you just nice and clean all the way down and let it clamp. The other little tip I'd like to tell you about is you must retune your guitar again. A lot of people don't know this, but Anytime you put the capo anywhere on the guitar, it's going to slightly change the tuning. So you want to make sure you're in tune. Of course, realize that since you're capoed, your notes uh, on the tuner will be different. Just follow the meter. Um, you'll see what the notes will be depending on where you put the capo. Okay, so uh, yeah, now I was showing you how to change the key. Now I've capoed it on the first fret. I'm going to play the same chords. <laughs> So it's higher. If it's still not high enough, you keep moving it up, right? Now this acts like the end of the guitar now. So you would play your chords the same way, pretending this is the first fret. And that is actually how we write it on, on chord charts. And even on chord charts you look up, often it'll say capo two, and they count from these frets. And in fact, the chord you're playing, you know, is not really a G. You know, in this case, it's actually an A, you know, but it's a G shape. And so to not make it too confusing, they actually just write it as the shape, even though the real chord is not a G. I hope that made sense. So anyway, here we are in the second. See, it just keeps going up. And now higher, right? And so forth. So it's really handy for that. Now, I'm going to talk about using other capos. Um, this one is called, it's sort of a, sh a shorty, uh, like a mid shorty with, an, with a cutout here. And the reason they have that cutout is because sometimes you might be in an alternate tuning, like say a drop D. This gets a little bit more into like kind of theory and, and you know, chords, structure, and 
you know, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but um, if, if you want to just experiment with these kinds of capos, that's also really good. You don't have to think out everything as to where is the capo going. You can just put it somewhere, you know, and experiment with it if you're writing a song. Uh, that's what I like to do. And um, so, like right now, I'm just going to put it down. I dropped D, right? Now, I actually did think for a second, okay, I'm going to put it in the D area, right? Because that's a D. I have a drop D. And now I'm going to slap that down. Now it's, it's not really a shorty because it's covering all the strings. It's just that the E is open now. All right? It's kind of cool, right? Now you have that low drop D, and it's not capoed. Because see, if we had the drop D and we used the regular capo, you could not get that nice low E sound. Also nice too, but you don't have that, it's not low, not that low, you know, drop D sound. So you can use capos, even the long standard one in alternate tunings, you can use this capo that has the cutout E in standard or alternate tunings. Because even if I went to... Let's put it here in the E area. Get that low open, right? And it's not capoed. So these are really, really cool to use for songwriting. Last but not least is the actual shorty. And it is a really short one. <laughs> and you know, again, this is like total, like throwing paint against the wall. You just put it in places, experiment with it, try it with um, maybe a you know alternate tuning. So it's a shorty, and it's got a cutout. By the way, you can also put it this way. I'm not very good at doing that, but see, you can do it that way, and then you have this open. <laughs> And then you have these, but maybe you want to drop it. Drop D. And of course you would re, you know, retune and check your tuning, but look how cool that is. And actually maybe I'll drop this. possibilities are endless so um you know grab your different kinds of capos experiment with them try different alternate tunings or standard tunings and and now you also know the just the regular capo what the function is and literally it's a whole new world for you i hope you enjoyed today's lesson uh about capos and We'll see you at the next one. Ciao.